Oh, hi everyone, Chris Tuck here, West Wickham Health and Fitness. Just packing up my microphones after early risers. And I just wanted to jump on here and just talk about physical pain when you are mentally distressed, stressed, overwhelmed, yeah? And just noticing what's going on for you and what can you actually do about it. So, this morning I woke up with back pain and I gingerly got out of bed because any back pain for me usually means my back is about to go. And when I say it's about to go, anything that I do that's outside, just walking, will make it spasm and then comes a lot of pain. So I recognise the signs and I know that I need to take it easy. Now, it can be just because I've slept funny. That could be the reason. But often than not, lower back pain is a symptom of stress, overwhelm or distress. It might be your body telling you that it's time to have a break have a rest and I know that is my situation. So if you're cognizant of it or not, your body will tell you, right, what is going on. So any pain, we shouldn't be masking it with taking lots of tablets. That might help in the short term and you might need to do that. But long term, if you're getting the same symptoms, you need to find out what is going on? Is it muscular imbalance because you've overdone it physically? Or is it mental overwhelm, stress, distress that is causing your physical symptoms? Or is it something structural, maybe a disc problem? Now you often will need to work through all the different levels of solution. So for me, it would be gingerly get up, gingerly mobilise, move, use heat pads, use ice, maybe take some ibuprofen just for the short, short term. If it eases after a couple of days, you know you've just overdone things. If it doesn't ease over a couple of days, it could be that you're mentally and physically knackered and you need to take some proper downtime. If it doesn't ease at all and you're in a good place mentally, you're not too overwhelmed, not too stressed and you know it's nothing of that kind causing the issue, you may need to then have ultrasounds and scans and things like that to see if there's something structurally going on for you. So I hope you find this vlog helpful and if you've got any comments please put them below. So every class that I do early morning I do what I call a body scan. We just spend a good five minutes going through the body to see where the tightnesses are, where the aches and pains are, if there are any, and then we can adapt the workout to suit what the body is telling us. Now I know many fit pros don't do this, but I do do it because it is needed for me to do what I do, because of my hip replacement, because of everything else that's going on in my body. And my clients have given me the feedback that it helps them too, especially in the early morning classes. I don't do it in any of my other sessions, apart from Pilates, which is all about mobility, flexibility, strength, and improving all of that so we can move with good posture, good alignment, and you know, prevent injury. So that's beside the point. All right? But. My body scan showed me today that my left QL is all very, very tight. 
and my um, hips and my foot is not very good because I've got plantar fasciitis as well and I've had that quite a long time now and I have weekly massage, weekly physio on it so I'm keeping on top of it but that could be causing all of this or I might have just slept funny but it's probably a combination of the two and also carrying a 30 kilogram bag of dog food the other day might have added to the overworking of all of my, my ligaments, um, my muscles. So, to wrap this up, it's all about guys, because I'm quite a fit, strong person anyway. Yes, I have physical issues that I have to work with, but over, overall, I'm physically fit, um, and strong. So I haven't though trained myself to pick up 30 kilos and walk with it for quite a long way. I just did that and I was able to do it but I haven't trained to do it. So that's going to have an impact on my body okay? and that's probably what I'm paying for right now. So if you are thinking about a new year resolution or just an action plan to get fitter and stronger in the new year, you need to have a plan of progression. Don't hit the 1st of January and go, right, I'm on it. I'm going to beast myself, I'm going to work myself really hard and then you end up with an injury. You need to take a lifestyle approach to this, mentally and physically. Know that you want to become physically fit and stronger as a lifestyle choice. And you're gonna to work towards that on a daily basis. It's not just for Christmas, it's just not for the new year. It's gonna become a lifestyle choice. Take the stress out of it and build up towards whatever it is your goal is going to be. So if you want to do a couch to 5k for example, if you want to build up to swimming 20 lengths in the swimming pool each time you go, if you want to do those 10,000 steps a day, your first session either by yourself or with a friend or with a coach like myself will be see where you are at right now. Where is your starting point? What can you do right now that is challenging for you? And that will be your base point. You will then come to a, a goal that you can commit to that is progressive and that you can grow with it and that you can work towards and when you reach it, pat yourself on the back that will become your new base level and then you will progress on and on and that way you are always making progression, you're improving, your self-confidence will soar and you will also feel like you're achieving rather than working flat out, crashing, burning or getting injured. We want you to become fitter, healthier and stronger mentally and physically without injury, okay? That is the plan. So just keep that in mind when you're thinking about your New Year's, I don't want to say the word, your changes for 2023, your goals, your aspirations, your dreams for 2023. All right then guys, wrap it all up. If you need a coach or you want to work out with like-minded people, I'm here in the hall from the 12th of January. You can join online, of course, or if you want to work out in your own time, when it suits you, there is an on-demand library that you can access. You can buy 10 classes, for example, do those 10, and then buy another 10. But they, there's, there's 
they are yours to keep forever and a day. So you can then mix and match. So I recalled 12 new hit stroke lit sessions every single month. Brand new. So if you want to start doing that in January, you can buy December's in January. And then in February, you can buy January's. If you want to do on demand, in your own time, at your own convenience, wherever, whenever. All right, gang. So there are no excuses really to getting fitter, stronger in 2023. The only barriers in place are the ones that you have up here. We can meet you where you are, we can work at your level, and we can progress you, all right? So, I am coaching one-to-one -one in 2023, so if you want to be one of my clients, I can help you with your mindset, your nutrition, your fitness, and your whole lifestyle changes. So if you want to work with me, message me guys, and I will speak to you soon. Bye for now.